Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Space Quest. Alien music! Let's walk into here. Oh. As soon as you enter the room, you find yourself surrounded by darkness. Suddenly, you become aware of the fact that you cannot move or speak. A strange, unknown force has taken over. A massive, holographic image appears before you. Ah! It begins to speak. Sir, you found your way to my hallowed chamber. Fortunately, there is much more to you than meets the eye. I have been monitoring your travels on our planet. It appears that you are on the, on the proverbial estuary without a means of locomotion. Yeah, that's right. In other words, you're on the Leather Express, slapping the dogs, pounding the sand. You'd kill for a fine ride. You are obviously in need of transportation. I don't know why I gave this guy the voice. Let us see if you are worthy of our assistance. On the surface, there's a beast called Orat. He proves to be a bit of an annoyance on occasion. Dispose of him and bring back evidence of your conquest. Only then will I deal with your plight. Good luck, strange one. I will bring me the evidence of the beast Orat's demise and we'll talk. We have evidence of the beast or its demise. <laughs> you drop the ore part on the ground, the vision is silent. As the dinkly morsel splats to the dry soil, you are startled by a rumbling. Suddenly, an oddly shaped door comes into view and slowly opens. You hear a voice different this time, beckoning you to step forward. Yay! <coughs> What's this? I'll tell you what it is. Super Mecha Sentai Fun Time Underground Civilization! When you step through, the door slides behind you. You are alone in a large room full of strange equipment. Oh, hello there, forearms! Please don't be alarmed. We intend no harm. We are a peaceful race. However, we are cautious, however. Don't... Others don't share our way of life. <laughs> Welcome to Corona. You are standing in the power generation facility of our underground settlement. All power here is produced by steam. That is unimportant to you, however. We have promised you transportation. This is a skimmer. It hovers approximately half a meter above the traveling surface. <laughs> this is very important because of Grell. Ah, Grell. Grell and his like live in caves below the sand. You stand on the surface too long, your chance of becoming a rare, moist meal for him. The skimmer is programmed to take you to a settlement on the other side of Corona called Yulsi's Flats. You can then make further transportation arrangements there. I am sorry this is all we can offer. I hope your trip is a safe one. Both the skimmer when you are ready to depart. Good luck, strange one. Okay, but there is something we must do first. As you can see there... It's a computer console, a bit archaic by the standards of the arcader. Ah, you see. It's got a cartridge reader. We should use our cartridge on it and find out something important. Yep, loading. Oh, God. I hope I shall meet this. My name is Dr. Slash Fohal. Remember that name? I'm a scientist of a star generator project on board the Star Lab Arcader. We just successfully developed the successfully completed the development of the testing of Star Generator. During this time, I've come to believe that our progress has been monitored by others. I fear that the Sarians may have learned of our mission. But if my fears prove true, the Star Generator and the people of the universe are in serious jeopardy. The Star Generator is a mar miraculous device. Use as intended, it will help preserve life for eons to come. Use the device for evil, it will cause destruction of millions of lives and enslave all those who oppose the Sarians. Encoded within this cartridge are plans and specifications for the construction of the Star Generator. Important! Should any disaster befall the Star Generator, scientists will be unable to be able to create a duplicate. Please guard it with your life and return it to Xenon ruling body. But more importantly, the Star Generator is capable of self-destruction. This is introduced to the system as a proportion. To activate it, one must enter the code 3166. 3166. You don't have long either. But more importantly, take the disc back! <coughs> Death befalls you if you do not take the disc back. 
There's not a lot else you can do here, but there is a fun mini game coming up. And I'm going to show you how to use to do it. Let's get into the tiny skimmer, because this game is silly. <laughs> Yay! Go, Roger! Yay! <coughs> now, how do we play this game? It's very simple, you just have to avoid the rocks. Yeah. Let's not avoid rocks. Ah! 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 Late warning! The big rocks cut you no slack. No crud! Okay, let's just use the ship again, shall we? And three rocks tell you that had you not have eaten those many donuts, you would you would you would have managed to get out of there. Okay, let's go. Ah! Oops, had the darn thing in reverse. I hope nobody saw that. <laughs> I think somebody did. Okay, let's 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 do this mini game, shall we? skip this minigame, which I thought was nice. Ah! I'm just Roger! Don't hurt me! Ah! Ah! Oh! I see a settlement in the back... in the background. I was about to say. It looks like I just got hit by a rock. Ah! Rocks. Ah! Ah! <coughs> it's getting closer. Ah! Oh. Better I got hit by the small rock than the big one. The big rock cuts you no slack. Ah! This is not good! Closer, though. Tiny little hovercraft that this is. Whoa! I don't like this ride anymore! Ah! Help me! Ah! Oh god, one more hit and I am in trouble. Ah! Had you eaten a few less donuts during the mission, you might have cleared that rock. Okay, folks, we're skipping that. <coughs> I've shown you how it works. We're skipping it. Go! Go! Oops! Go! And this time, let's skip the little thingy medoodler. Yes. It does show us something. Shows a little bit, but we're alright. We get there safe. Maybe you could try playing the arcade sequence next time. Oh, what? Oh, this place doesn't sound seedy. Look at him! The epitome! Tree Stone Crushing Journey. Oh dear. Takes some time to recharge. This place isn't quite what you'd expect. It's semi bleak at best. A lot of your fellow is lounging on the wall watching you with a great deal of interest. Oh, that's shady. What do you want? 
exactly what you want. I say, I want this here skimmer. <laughs> Shay, pal, I couldn't help noticing a skimmer. It's genuine 86 Pilates GL. I've been looking everywhere for one of these babies. How would you like to unload it for an unheard of price of 25 buckazoids? No! Fine, be that way. Oh, something you should learn. It's not really a death animation. Take the keys out of your skimmer. If you don't, and you come back to the screen, he'll have stolen it. But until then, folks, until then.